Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. Now, uh, in the last episode, we've killed two of the four ghosts of the Fire's Temple. Joel and Beth, I believe. And now we're hunting down the other two so that we can track down the boss. Or at least try to find Saria. So, again, shadows in the room. That's wall masters. Watch out for those boys. I'll fuck you up whole school, man. Here he comes. Oh, he got me! Fuck. Couldn't see my own shadow. But anyway, it's a good excuse to show you what happens. Back to the side of the dungeon. Oh my god. Unbelievable. I haven't, I haven't been grabbed by one of those things in years. Absolute years. Anyway. I'll spare you the trip back. But, uh, I'll see you there, alright? Jesus. Alright, we're back. Uh, I, I still, I can't believe that. But anyway, rather than fuck around with the Wallmaster, let's just go where we're supposed to be going, shall we? Oh, here he comes. Fine, I'll kill him this time. Asshole. So watch your shadow. There's a little big hand. And it stopped, which is what I thought it had done last time, because the sound had stopped. But no, anyway, he's dead now. I've had my revenge. Where are we going? <laughs> Where indeed are we going? Oh gosh. Ah, down another straight corridor this time. Okay, so green bubbles. They're pathetic. I don't even know why they're in the game. And I'm missing a key! I didn't need to come back here. I'm a fool. Alright. What we need to do, actually, is untwist the twisted corridor. Doesn't that sound cool, you guys? Doesn't it? So we'll go do that. Getting all my steps wrong. I should have, uh... Should have written this down. <laughs> no. Well, I could. Maybe I will for the fire temple. We'll see. Anyway, oh my god, I dropped. Anyway, what we do, we just head back. Back to that room where we pushed all those blocks. Just just back to the entrance of the twisty corridor, really. And there's a switch above it, an eyeball switch. And we just need to shoot that. You know, like the ones we dealt with as a kid. So, twisty twister, also twisty. There we go. The beast fox it kills them quickly. Oh no, wait, it doesn't. So they died in one shot, but they don't. Oh my god, I wasted a lot of arrows. That's fine. I right, shoot the eyeball. And. It gets untwisted. Don't ask me how. Remember, this place is haunted. And if you've seen any haunted house movies, you know, they can pretty much twist or untwist or whatever the fuck they want. That's a terrible explanation. <laughs> there you go. Now we can get the boss key. Which, we're actually getting it really early. We're nowhere near the boss yet. But there you go. There you go. That's the first boss key of the game. You need them in every adult dungeon. Didn't need them in any of the kids' ones, but now we do. Oh my gosh. So there we go. Get dropped into a room with blue bubbles. That's fine. We totally needed to. And we crack on. I can just jump out here if you want. Oh my god, don't fall. Okay, I fell. What's well, supposed to fall? But yeah, those are recovery hurts if you want them. I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Once again, I see you guys back up there because you don't want to watch me walking back. Hey guys, since I was on the way, I thought I'd show you this. It's just a, a, a little thing. You can shoot that and get some uh, arrows, I think it is. Yeah. yeah, it's no big deal. It was just on the way up, so I figured I'd show it to you. I might as well continue from here. And there's also a way to get a shortcut up. I can't remember what you have to do. So look. Uh, nothing immediately obvious springs to mind. So fuck it. Let's just continue. Yeah. Ignore. 
the blue bubbles for time reasons. Alright, just like that, we're back here. So we'll go back down the hole. There we go. Oh my god. Yeah, there we go. And yeah. Oh. Cut him in half. There we go. Brutality. Now into this room. Right here. What we have here is a floor master. Oh my god. There you go. As you can see, when it turns green, it's actually invulnerable to all pain. And then it splits into three. And you gotta kill the babies. Or whatever. Or they'll reform into the big one. Which is no darn good. I got that magic. And I got full magic. And we get another key. So back we go. Yes. Yes. Through the door. Oh, here we go. All right. Just like that. You see, we're back down here. Hey. Hey. No oh, wait. Anyway. Oh god. Um, yeah. yeah, that brings us back here. Don't worry, that's fine. I'm mad at you. You did. We can climb back up yet again. I know. And then untwist the corridor. Yes. And then we can go open that freaking door we were looking at. So, let's just head straight back up. Nothing has gone particularly right for me so far in this dungeon. Uh, I'm starting to feel like kind of a, a jackass. But, uh, now nah, we'll get there. All things will come together in time. So, let's just shoot that eyeball. There you go. You see, uh, even at the end of the day, I'm, a, I'm an amazing shot. But, uh, yeah. There, everything's twisty again. Lovely. I can head straight back through to that locked door and actually get a move on with the dungeon. Instead of running around looking for keys. Ah, remember, I said this was one of my favorite dungeons? I hate it now. No, not really. It's still a good dungeon, but uh, it's definitely not the best in the game. I don't know. I don't know what I would consider the best in the game. Uh, hmm. Not this one, anyway. It's got probably the best atmosphere. I chalk that up to that creepy fucking music. Hey. Anyway. Oh, Link. Climb the ladder. I don't think Wallmasters can get you on ladders. So I'm not too sure if it is. I ignore those green guys. They, they, they're that pointless. And here we go, another room. Which I will deal with after a short break. Well, I'll edit up the short break, but I'm pretty sure my dinner is ready. So, yeah, we'll solve this place. Well, straight away for you guys in about 10 minutes for me. See ya. False alarm, guys. My dinner was not ready. Oh my god, that's loud or something. So if you can hear me over the intense growling of my stomach, we will continue. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, all that stuff will fuck you up. You know what you're meant to do? Alright. Jump on all those platforms and shoot through the flame to hit the eyeball in the ice. What I always do is this. I guess it's kind of cheating around this spot. There we go. And what that does is twist the straight corridor. Yeah, I know, right? Intense. Well, not intense, but... Well, I'm not sure what I'm saying. And you know how many edits I've done in this video, you guys? I've completely forgotten, or at least lost track of time, on how long it actually is. So when this section gets to five minutes, I'm gonna cut it and move on to the next episode. Just 
be safe and I just see the ceiling falls here. And someone texted me, that wasn't the game. That's my text alert. It's annoying. But anyway, well I'm sure you can tell it's annoying, you just heard it. But anyway, that brings us to Meow. Which if you remember, we can use Scarecrow sound for Pierre up here, I believe. So I'm just going to check right now if that works. Before I commit to jumping down. I have to make another edit as I walk back to where I was. It does work. So, uh, there we go. Let's get that skull teller first. That Octorex is going to shoot me. I'm not sure you can jump this high. Uh, yeah. As for what's in here, I think it's just recovery hard. Yeah, pointless. Ah, he can jump that high. Good for him. And we're back up, thanks to Pierre! The Scarecrow song is such a handy yoke to have, like... If you haven't gotten it, go back and watch my video on how to get it. Because... It really is great. It's so good, it's almost cheating, like... It's that good. Anyway, let's hit the switch. That opens the door to find. Wait for the ceiling to fall again. Make a note of where it's safe to be. And leg it for there, like that chest is safe, so. So I'll, I'll open that as well. Get some more arrows, so I don't really need. Stay on the chest. Ooh, even the square next to it's safe. And just make a break for the door. You can kill the skull tellers if you want to. It's kind of pointless. Now, here we go. The third ghost. We just shoot her out of her painting. Just drop some blocks that we have to push. So, one of these is a diversion. And it's that one. So, I'm just going to pull it out of the way. See where times. I'm going to get a minute for this. That's all you need. Okay, decide which block you want to work around. I'll go with that one there. Go with the flame. And just push the others into it. You're solving a very, very simple. I guess you could call it a, a jigsaw puzzle or something, but it's not really. We call those puzzles where you're sliding the tiles around, and there's always like one gap for this for the the tiles to slide. There's one in Resident Evil 4. I used to have one when I was a kid. It was just like a picture of an orange or something. It was really fucking hard. I hate those things. So I'm bad at them. But, uh... Anyway, this is the third ghost. This is the blue one. Or green one, Amy. There you go. Blue one is best, I'm sure of it. Anyway, Amy is the green one. So, speed up Amy. Speeding up a girl named Amy. That's like my number one thing to do. So, there you go. That's not really. I knew a girl named Amy once. She was in my class in primary school in England. And she was kind of a bitch. But I never beat her up. I never wanted to beat her up. There you go. I'm not a violent man. Well, no, I'm not really. Anyway, I'll continue the video for now because we're right by the end of the dungeon, actually. Yes, we are. If you can look down here, see a ghost crying. Guess because I've double murdered all her sisters. Yeah. She'd, she'd, be, she'd be mad. She'd be mad. But, uh, she can be mad all she wants. Yeah, you gotta watch. Okay, it's fucked for the first step. But, uh, there you go. Well, I got her by luck. But basically, when she appears, you know, watch the one that does a second spin, and that's her. The rest are just shadow clones. I'm not making a Naruto reference, even though I kind of am. I'm not deliberately making a Naruto reference. Anyway, shut up, Shane. Sasuke Kun. Uh, 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 what's wrong with me? Anyway, yeah, this is Meg, by the way. I should check her name before I kill her. Where is she going? There you are, Meg. There you go. There's some multiple personalities. We need to figure out which one is the real one. Oh, she's dead now. And with her dead, we get the fourth flame restored and a spooky elevator. 
chat will go well, I'll go down it now. But uh we'll do the next part of the dungeon in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. So I'll see you guys then. I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am.